Hello, welcome to another video on Outdoor Days. And today we are taking a closer look. I say we, I mean, you're taking a closer look at me, taking a closer look at the Lone Peak Ultra 7s. I'm doing a review of these after putting in a hundred miles on them. I didn't want to just get them straight out of the box and do a review and I'm just run through some specs and show you the shoe because you can go on their website and do that for yourself. I just wanted to give you my opinion whether I would recommend them and what I thought of them in comparison to the Ultra 5s that I've uh, previously been wearing. And on that subject, the 5s. Here we are, my trusted Lone Peak Ultra 5s. Now, the only reason I got rid of them, or the only reason they've been demoted to just occasional running shoe, and it's only one thing really, they've held together so well. I've heard people say that the, the inside sole of the heel has worn away on them, or the toe box or whatever, but I've had no problem whatsoever with that. The only thing, and for, for it to hold together along this toe box, for the amount of grief that I've put it through, over 600 mile of some serious, serious trekking over some pretty rough ground and it's still holding together. The only reason I've relegated them is because the tread at the front and the back has worn. They're still usable but it's just a bit slippy and I was doing a winter solo hike through the mountains and I just wanted to know that I had that extra grip so I got back online and thought oh, I wonder if the 6 is out and lo and behold not just the 6 the seven. So I thought, I've skipped a generation, and that's good. That's a good sign of a shoe, if you can skip a generation. It means that they've held out for you. So you're not just paying into the like, oh, the new one's out every year, you get the new one every year. You don't have to, because it's lasted me a good while, this. Good few years, good couple of years. For running and also for hiking. I bought this recently, It they, they, tur they turned up the, just before I set off on my hike, which is another benefit to using trail runners over hiking boots is that you can get them straight out the box and set off on your long distance hike and, and you don't really need to break them in. Well, I don't anyway, I haven't done in the past. The differences, the main differences that I can see from these, uh, the, on the front here, on the Ultra 5s, they have a, a metal loop, a metal gator attachment for your front of your gator. It is no longer that, it is now here where the shoelace is part of that and so you hook your gaiter to the shoelace. The other thing I noticed is that the stitching on the fives, there is stitching and extra bits stitched to the outside. Where it needs the protection, it's got the, uh, the harder material it is stitched on and you can see that. Whereas this is all formed as one piece, so it cuts down on weight. Whether that whether it's as strong, time will tell, but it's held up very well on this trek. Also on the fives, the fives have holes in the toe box for drainage and for airflow. The sevens don't have that, but having got my feet completely drenched with both, I can tell you that I don't notice a difference. Because the material is so porous anyway on the seven on the on the sevens, well on them both, the water just comes out. It, there's loads of places for it to come out, so I don't think the holes were necessary maybe in the first place. And so they've got rid of them, and it's just one piece of this rubberized material along the front. No sign of wear and tear. Obviously they're a bit mucky because I've had them, I've had them out and been testing them, but they're holding up really well. These are a 9, and these were 11 ounces, 314 grams. They have a flat sole so that anyone who's into barefoot walking or barefoot trainers will enjoy these because they're very although they are very cushioned they're very flat as well which i think i think it works better for running and for long distance hiking and they've got this upper quick dry mesh which is one of the reasons why i chose to take them with me because i didn't want to get my boots wet and have to trudge around in winter with wet boots that are continuously freezing on an evening and you have to thaw them out in the morning these will just thaw out quickly, they'll dry quickly. Um, they'll maybe just stay wet, but they won't be as heavy because 
in winter you're not really trying things out so yeah they're wonderful they've still got the uh, they've still got the wide tow box at the front to help your toes breathe and when you when you're doing long distance hikes your toes do swell so that gives you plenty of space for your toes to mill around the laces i don't know how they've done the laces but they're so sticky they very very rarely come undone they've they're made out of a wonderful material they just sort of adhere together i really like them they have the velcro on the back for the ultra's own gaiters which i now have and they're fantastic so the back of them goes in the velcro up that goes and then the front bit goes through the loop in the lace. I was using some Montane gaiters which had a shock cord, went under the, the shoe. But I was going through a couple of them each long distance hike. And, um, and they don't sell them separately so I had to reach out and get them. And I didn't think that was very good. But these new gaiters are fantastic. They've come in really handy. Uh, the colours, they do a this green and teal with a little pink bottom on it. They're a bit garish, I know, but I like them. They also do like a black, gray, green, orange number. I'll put them all on here now so you can see. They do a navy and they also do a red orange. So yeah, some garish colors for you. They don't, I don't, they don't really specialize in subdue pastel colors or earthy, outdoorsy, woodland colors. It's more, because they're geared towards trail running, I think vibrant and to be seen is the key, isn't it, if you're running? So, that's that. But, I just wanted to let you know what I think of them, and I think they're great. I thought the fives were fantastic, and as far as I can see, these are just the same, um, with just a few minor adjustments that don't take away from the quality. Do they add to it? I don't know. Over 100 miles, I mean, it's hard to tell what, like, changing that metal loop at the front to, um, a lace thing isn't going to be making me being like, "Wee, it's the best thing ever." It's just a slight change. I think the fact remains is that they're brilliant. Like they're from that to that, there isn't much change, and that's what I'm happy about because they are great trail running shoes and great for long distance hiking. And a hundred miles in, I can recommend them. I really like them. These will be my footwear for this summer when I've got some pretty big long distance hikes coming up. So we'll see how they fare. But for now. I recommend them. I'll leave a link for them below so you can check them out yourself. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.